Hey everyone, welcome back to Coder's Journey. In this playlist, we are exploring the new features of Visual Studio 2026, and we are exploring, you know, the practical tips that can make our coding faster and smarter. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit subscribe, like, if of course you enjoy these tutorials. Today, we're covering a super useful feature, file exclusion in search. And I am going to show you a real scenario where it saves you tons of time. So let's go. Imagine you're working on a C-sharp project and you have a bunch of, you know, generated files or temporary scripts that you never need to search through, like, you know, debug logs or test files. So without exclusion, these files clutter your search results and slow you down. So in order to exclude these specific, you know, files from your search, Visual Studio 2026 offers you a very useful option. So if you go to Tools, Options, and then you search, search here, and go to this node, there is this place called, you know, Enable Search Exclusion. And here, you can, you know, exclude the files that you do not want to appear in your search window. For example, I have added this, you know, pattern. So basically, I'm not interested in seeing my temp files in my search. If I go ahead now and add a file here, and I call it temp file, TMP, of course, it has to, you know, it has to uh, follow that pattern. So basically, uh, the, you know, extension is the same. So I have included this, you know, file from my search. I'm going to click add. And here I can, you know, do whatever I want with this. I am going to put some piece of code here. Doesn't matter. Anything. The, the most important thing is that I have excluded this extension from my search results, right? So now, normally, if you, you know, search for something like a test method using, you know, your search bar, this file would show up in the result. But again, thanks to the exclusion that we just adjusted, we won't see this in our search results. So let's try it out. I'm going to press Control F. Control shift F and then I'm going to search for something. For example, I'm going to search for a test method and I'm going to press enter. As you can see, I'm not seeing that, you know, temp file in the, uh, you know, result of my search. It doesn't appear there, right? And that makes my life again easier. But if I go to this section again and if I remove this temp, if I remove it, and if I press Control Shift again and search for test method, I'm going to see that temp file in the, you know, result of my search. So again, this is a very, you know, helpful uh, tweak and option that you can apply. And that's it for this episode. Remember, with file exclusion in search, you can quickly remove clutter from both quick find and finding files feature in VS 2026. This is perfect for ignoring build artifacts, generated code, or temporary files and keeping your search results relevant. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an episode of A Coder Journey. Comment below and let me know which types of files you usually exclude in your projects. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy coding. See you in the next one.